morning, good morning, everyone. All right, so this is my weekly Wagovi update. We're on week, I believe, 26 now. Um, I apologize. I woke up less than an hour ago, so I'm still a little out of it, but I do have my coffee here with me uh, to hopefully fix that. <laughs> we'll see. So, hi. Um, so if you haven't been here for any of these before, I'd like to recap real quick. I tend to go over um, any changes in side effects, any effects from the Wagovi that I'm on. I've been on 2.4 milligrams for a while now. You can check out my older videos if you want to see how it's been up till now. Um, but I go over any side effects and I go over obviously like my weight loss and any changes and then as well as any other related things in my life going on over the past week or so. So here we are, uh, week, did I just say 25? 26, I think, actually. I don't know. You'll, you'll see <laughs> in the title of this video, whatever it actually is. Um, so here we are. I keep seeing this week after week. Not much is changing as, as far as like side effects and things like that go, but that's because I've been on this medication for a while now, at the same dosage for a while now, and so I don't really expect anything new to happen as far as that goes. Now, <coughs> excuse me, as far as the ongoing, as far as what I've had issues with up till now, the biggest thing has been the constipation with Wagovi, which my doctors at least, and it seems like for most other people, they've been warned about before going on to the medication. Um, that continues to be a bit of an issue for me, but I do different things to try to counteract that. Uh, I try to, I'm taking magnesium now. Um, oh man, I'm having like really bad issues with my GERD today. I apologize. So, uh, yes, I, I do magnesium. I have smooth move tea, which I kind of take like usually in emergencies, like if I have to, like, haven't gone in like a few days and I don't want it to get any worse, then I'll do the smooth move tea on my day off. Um, and I do, I'm trying to think, uh, I used to do milk and magnesia a lot, but I don't do milk and magnesia anymore because I seem to have a really, really negative, um, have really negative effects from taking it. Um, I get like a, like an instant nausea as soon as I swallow it. Um, and like it, it, it causes like my throat and like, I don't know, everything feels like it like clenches up in a way. And I don't, ugh, I don't know, it, it worries me a bit. And it used to not do that to me when I first started taking it. It used to be like my fix all. And I don't know if it's because I took it a lot back then or what happened, but now I just cannot do it. Um, so no more of that for me. I do fiber as far as I take like Metamucil when I can, when I can afford it because it's a little pricey. Uh, and I also try to just generally eat more fiber, more salads and things like that. Uh, just to, you know, keep my fiber and take up. So there we go. Those are the different things that I've been trying to, you know, counteract that constipation issue. Um, aside from that, I mentioned in my last video, but I just wanted to bring it up again, that I am no longer taking the Zofran, which was my like lifesaver as far as the nausea goes. Um, I used to take it sometimes the night that I took the shot, just in case, and then I take it the following night, which was always the worst one for me. Um, so I take my shots on Wednesday nights, right before bed, and I would take the Zofran either, or both sometimes. I would take it either right before my pill and the following, my pill, oh my gosh, right before my shot on Wednesday night and then on Thursday night I would take the uh, Zofran, oh my gosh, I, I think I'm too tired, <laughs> I can't forget what I'm saying now, yes, before my shot, I was thinking pills because I was thinking of the Zofran and their pills, anyways, and then I would take them on the Thursday night because that's when the nausea would really kick in. And now I don't take it at all anymore. I just am mindful not to eat anything that will disturb my tummy those two nights. And I have been fine. Um, very, very minor queasiness on the Thursday nights without it. But nothing that I can't handle. 
and if I'm really feeling bad, I just, I go to bed, you know? Um, because I don't wanna, for anyone who doesn't know about Zofran, while it's really, really good for nausea, it also is known to add to constipation, and that's not what we need when we're already dealing with that issue, right? So, there we go. That's where I'm at with everything as far as side effects and all that. Uh, as far as the weight loss goes, um, I am kind of not knowing where I'm at. I keep jumping up and going down two pounds. My lowest weight, my weight this morning is still 182.5 this morning. 182.5. And it's been there for a couple days in the morning. Like, this is like after I wake up, haven't had anything to eat or drink, and right after going to the bathroom, I weigh 182.5. And, um, so it, it feels almost like I'm, I'm still stalling, but I am still seeing those changes in my body that I kind of mentioned in my last video or two. Um, so like my, I had mentioned my work pants are getting looser around like my thigh area and around my waist a bit. I had gone down a pant size and those are a bit looser now. I had gone down a whole belt size and now I'm going down the notches on the belt and that's having to be tightened. And I finally went down a shirt size for my work costume. So that's pretty exciting. I, I wear a small now in my work costume. Like, it hasn't been that way in a long time. So, there you go. There are, there are still changes occurring even though the weight on the scale seems to be just hanging out. Now, usually when that happens to me, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. Maybe update, or update, oh my gosh. Maybe uptake my water intake. Is that what I'm trying to say? Maybe up my water intake. <laughs> and then you know sometimes like weeks and weeks later all of a sudden I'll just drop a bunch of weight on the scale without anything else really changing <clears throat> so I'm wondering if this is this is one of those we'll see that would be ideal uh, but I've also been doing I have not gone to the gym again since my last video um, I've been working late and ubering at night time for extra income because it's been a struggle around here so I have not had time for that, but I have been trying to walk at night. I generally walk about three miles um, when I walk. Uh, and then I have been doing my arm workouts, which is the one I had posted from creator Haley C. Please go back and check out that video if you're interested and check her original video out, which I linked in the description of mine. Um, it's just a little 10 minute slim arm workout and I did want to give an update as far as that goes. So I still have my 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 wings, you can kind of see here. <laughs> but my arms, since doing this workout, and I have not even been doing it every day, I'm being completely transparent with you all. I have missed a few days here and there. Um, but I have lost two and a half centimeters off of both of my arms now. And so I, there's a change and I'm constantly monitoring this. I have not done any other workouts on my arms. It is purely whatever in my daily life that I'm doing that I had been doing before. And then that 10 minute workout that I've added that I typically do at nighttime. Um, and it does, it leaves you very sore the next couple days after doing it. So, but it's, it's good. It's, you know, that you're getting a workout and that it's actually doing something good for your muscles right so there you go yeah two and a half centimeters down on my arms and that's fantastic and like I said I'm not even doing it every day so I imagine if I was doing it every day I'd probably have even more progress so I'm, I'm hoping to you know up that and try to stick with it every day um, but realistically I know that things happen right but the thing is when I've noticed I've gone like say I was at work today and I was like oh my gosh I never did my arm workout last night you know, I'm trying to memorize like parts of it or at least like sections of the workout so that while I'm just standing around at work because where I'm at, like it's not like I'm like face to face with a customer or somebody like every two seconds. Like I have some time in between sometimes. And so I will yeah, we'll stand there and I'll start doing my workout and everything. And, you know, even just like the simpler ones that I can do while I'm just standing around out there. I just try to get them in, right? Um, 
and all of the little reps that she does in that video all seem to be about what 50 seconds or 60 seconds so I, I try to count that down in my head as I'm doing the exercises and that way you know even if it's not the full workout I'm gonna hear like I'm, I'm still trying to put in some effort to get some of it done when I can right um so that's been good my next doctor's visit is next Thursday I think it's next Thursday. It could be Friday. I think it's Thursday though. Um, <clears throat> and they have me getting there a little bit early. So I hope that's a sign that they're going to do the in-body scan for me again. Now, that's what I'm really excited about because I have been losing some muscle mass. And like I said, even if the scale doesn't move, the in-body scan does measure like your muscle mass and everything like that. And I'm wondering if I will see that weight on the muscle mass go up. And that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping to see that go up because, you know, naturally they say, excuse me, as you build more muscle mass, you naturally will just burn more fat, more calories, just going about your day uh, to feed your muscles, right? So that, that'll be, that'll be good for me. That'll be a good improvement. And I am still down from what I was the last time I saw my doctors, even though it's not you know, like really quick weight loss or anything like that. You know, it's it's been a couple months, but at least I went from 189, which is where I was when I saw him last time, to like I said, 182.5 is where I'm hanging out right now. So I've still lost some weight, right? And my only my only thing is I'm curious how my because I'm weighing myself like wearing the lightest clothing I can. And obviously I'm wearing some things that are a little bit heavier when I go to the doctor's office. So we're gonna have to see, I don't know. <laughs> That's what worries me. And I think a lot of people are worried about that same thing when they go to the doctors, like in general, when you get weighed at the doctor's office, I feel like you're always like a little bit higher than whatever you were wearing, weighing at home. Um, I do need to get a new scale too. <clears throat> Excuse me, my allergies have been awful. Um, I need to get a new scale. I am literally using one that like barely functions anymore, but I really want to get like a good one, like a really good scale. Um, so I'm doing some research on some, some of them aren't very expensive. I, I found some for like 40, $50 on Amazon, but realistically I just don't have 40, $50 right now <laughs> for a scale on Amazon. So, uh, but you know, eventually we'll get there or if I have any like money after Christmas time, because sometimes I get, you know, gifted some some money or gift cards or things like that. I'll probably put some of that into getting a scale. I try to use it for things that I need. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else <clears throat> that's really been going on. Uh, I do want to upload a review of, turn my blinker on. I do want to upload a review of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. I know this is random, but for anyone who watches my videos and wants to know what's coming up, that's probably going to be coming up soon. But I went to see that movie and uh, I actually went to the Universal City Walk Cinemark Theater location for it. And I saw it on the 26th. I think like the official day that it came out was the 27th and I saw it the night before. Um... So you can look forward to that if that's something you're interested in. And I also have a couple of uh, reviews to do of my circle sips for the circle water bottle because I'm back into that again. I have a lot of sips just sitting around that I need to use. And the only reason I haven't gone through them all is because I have a different water bottle that I, I need to use at work. And... Um, and so I don't get to use my circle all day when I'm at work. However, I when I want something that's gonna keep the water really cold right now, I have the plastic uh, circle, which works fine when I'm just, you know, at home or out and about, I throw ice in it, fill the water. But when you're working outside in the Florida sun, that water doesn't stay cold for very long at all. It ends up like tea in like an hour. So I think I'm going to invest in one of the, is it like stainless steel circle water bottles? so that I can actually bring it to work and it'll keep the water cold and I can actually use some of those sips while I'm working. So that's that's the plan at some point. And that's really it, right? 
I don't, I'm going to a few appointments, several other things today. Going home, I need to try to clean up a bit. My apartment's a disaster right now. <clears throat> um, but I do need to like Uber tonight too for some money. So we'll see what I actually have time to do. If not, then I'll try to do some tidying up tomorrow. Two day weekends are not enough people. I don't know how some of you do it. I mean, I don't really have two day weekends as it is anyways, because I tend to Uber as my side gig on my weekends. So <clears throat> most days I'm working no matter what. But I used to work a job where I worked four day weeks and I worked longer hours, but I had three days off every week. And I really missed that. I really liked that because you know, realistically, when you you are at home on your days off, what are you doing? You're you're cleaning, right? You're you're taking care of house chores and everything else that needs to get done, or going to appointments that you have to make on days that you're not working. And then where's your, where's your day to like decompress? You know, yeah. So I think three days for me at least was really nice. I would love to see that adopted like more widely. But anyways, I'm going off tangents right now. So <laughs> that's all. That's all for my update. Um, so I hope everyone's doing well on their journey. Let me know how this, the shortages are still going in your areas, please, too. <clears throat> Gosh, excuse me. Um, I, I've been watching a couple other vloggers who cover like Ozempic, Wagovi, GLP ones, all that. And I've heard a couple of them mention that they're still having shortages in their area. Um, for me, I've been having some pretty good luck, but I've also been like literally running over there the moment they have the medication in so that I never run into that issue. And I'm also on the highest dose of the medication and those tend to be not, they tend not to be the ones that are having the shortages. It tends to be the lower dosages that people need to work their way up, uh, that are having those shortages. So yeah, let me know how it's going in your area. I hope it's getting better though. We'll see. And that's about it. So I hope everyone is doing well and staying healthy and happy. And I will see you all again very, very soon. If you celebrate Halloween, I hope you had a very happy and spooky Halloween with a lot of treats.